Today's thrifting adventure takes us into the Goodwill Bins Atlas Center in Lubbock, Texas. I'm on the hunt for new home decor. We're going to see what all they have. I will share with you everything I buy along with how I plan to use it or style it in my home. Welcome to today's thrifting video at the Goodwill Bins or Outlet Center. If you're not familiar with the Goodwill Bins, you pay by the pound. This particular outlet center or bin store is very chaotic, very disorganized. Everything is in these wooden bins. Nothing is on shelves. There are some large oversized bulk items that are priced individually but for the most part, it is just pure chaos. This particular day was very crowded as well. I'm gonna show you as much as I can. I try to always be respectful of other people shopping that may not want to be seen on camera. So this frame was really awesome. It had these little jewels all over it. You will see a lot of project pieces in this video and at the current time in my, <laughs> my chaotic life, I am just not up for any more project pieces like this little stool. It could be so cute if you painted it and recovered it, but I am currently redoing several spaces around my home and that is taking up all of my extra time. There were a couple of rugs here that were in really good shape. This ergonomical puffy rug and then this more decorative style rug. But I'm always hesitant to bring things like this home. I'm allergic to cats and no amount of cleaning seems to get them to a point where they don't cause me irritation from that. So I'm very particular about soft goods that I bring into my home. Some of this you can see is just pure junk, like trash. I don't know. I feel, <laughs> I feel like it's just goes to the landfill. Amongst all this junk, you can dig around and find little treasures. I thought this leaf was super cute and watching back, I don't know why I didn't bring that home with me for fall decorating. When I am filming in stores, I look at things differently than if I am there shopping. So when I am editing back, I see things that am shocked I didn't pick up. And I think if I wasn't trying to film, I would definitely buy way more stuff. So you guys, filming for you <laughs> saves me so much money and space on home decor. I don't know why there was so much fall and Christmas decor here on this particular day, but the bins were full of it. And these again would make great project DIY pieces. And if I was not backlogged already, I would have picked up several things. I had ideas for like that candlestick, but I left it behind for somebody else. Goodwill bins outlet centers are few and far between, but if you do have one near you or get to travel to one, then definitely check them out and look for those project pieces or craft items to put in your craft closet. You can find some great things like this wooden tray here. Pick them up and put them back. That way you have them when you need them or when the ideas spark for you to do some DIYs. This is a great place to pick them up for cheap. I saw that lamp base and dug it out, was hoping it was gonna be something good and it was not, it was broken. I did find these aluminum mini bunt pans. They are so cute. I know that these are vintage and just like a fun little thing when you're baking. So I did pick these up and bring these home with me because they are so lightweight, they hardly cost me anything. I will give you at the end of the video my grand total of what I spent at the Goodwill Pound store on this day.
I'm not going to lie. Some days the Goodwill bins rattles my nerves. Like I said, it was very crowded. There were people everywhere. I'm trying to film and get things one handed. So it's a little, it's a little stressful for me sometimes, but so many good treasures if you're willing to dig around in these bins. Literally at the store, it is all thrown together. The clothes are with the books or with the home decor, bakeware. It is just literal chaos in these bins. This particular day, they did not wheel out any new bins while I was here. So that's always fun if they take out the old bins and bring in new bins. And it is the one place that you see everybody follows the rules and it stays behind the line and does not rush the uh, bins as they're coming or going. You, they will kick you out. They are serious here at the Goodwill Bins that you follow their rules. I dug around and I found this handmade pottery piece. At least it looks handmade. There's no stamp on it, but what is this? Do you have a clue of what this is? If you know, drop me a comment and tell me below. There are always picture frames at the Goodwill bins or even just at Goodwill and thrift stores. So that is one thing I always suggest that you buy second hand and not pay full price for. And don't let the aesthetic of it fool you or scare you away because there are so many quick DIYs you can do to upgrade these thrifted picture frames. I share a lot of those in my videos when I decorate or in my DIYs. So yeah, if you enjoy thrifting and you enjoy upcycling, then definitely hit that subscribe bar and follow along. Baskets are another item that I like to thrift. They can be so expensive when you buy them retail, but finding them secondhand is a great option. They are easy to clean and sterilize, so you don't have to worry about that when you bring them into your home. This was a really cute Department 56 Christmas planter. I loved the colors in it and it was just so fun and festive. I put it in my basket. You will later see me take it out of my basket. When I really had a chance to stop and look it over, I found that it had a chip and I'm trying to be very selective with what I bring into my home. So I left it behind, but it was so cute. There are always so many clothes at the Goodwill bins, so if that's what you're in search of, you will find it here. We are now headed over into the bulk section area. This is where they have the furniture and bikes and home aid healthcare equipment. Everything here is priced individually. You, you can see this cute little wooden storage cabinet with the lift up lid. A lot of stuff here. Some of it looks like it could be made over into something fabulous and other things look like it is helpless. But use your imagination here because I have found some great stuff here in the bulk items at the bins. I will have my previous bin videos linked below so you can go check out those and see what all I found on those shopping trips. This is where I was looking and saw that chip on the top of one of the snow angels on that pot. It made me so sad because I really wanted to bring that home with me. So exactly what did I purchase? I brought home those vintage aluminum mini bunk cake pans. They are so cute and I already used them to make some apple cinnamon bread. So delicious and makes me feel like a vintage homemaker. I also brought home that very curious item 
and that, that I did not know what it was. So if you do, please let me know because I would love to find out. I also brought home that wooden craft tray. I'm going to stick it back in my crafting closet and come up with something, a little DIY for y'all here down the road. Grand total, I spent $3.25 after tax on today's shopping trip. As I pointed out in the video, there were several other things I wished I had bought, but overall, I had a fun trip to the Goodwill Bins, and I am so glad that you joined me. If you enjoyed this Goodwill Bins thrift with me, I always appreciate when you hit that thumbs up, and I invite you to subscribe, hit your notification bell, and come back for the next video. Until I see you then, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day, and happy thrifting!